Here's a Schneider Electric 22-118 pneumatic room thermostat uh, that I refer to as a Robert Shaw thermostat from, from back before the days when Schneider Electric consumed Robert Shaw into their system. We're taking this right out of the box because I wanted to show you something very pertinent with the sensitivity slide on this thermostat. This thermostat is a very good thermostat and we're going to calibrate it in much the same way that we calibrated uh, the Johnson Controls and the Honeywell thermostats. But here's the point that I wanted to make with you. Out of the box, and this is, this is uh, almost universal. Every time I pull one of these out of the box, here's my calibration screw right up in the center of the thermostat. Okay, I use this adjusting tool, my part number RCAT1, uh, to manipulate the output pressure from the thermostat. This is my sensitivity, sensitivity or, or throttling range slide. And note that out of the factory, this is the position that this slide is in. If I don't make an adjustment to this, what I have effectively is a two position device. So I need to make this adjustment as a first step in terms of calibration. I want to bring that slide up to about the middle of the thermostat and where I like to start with it is just high enough that I can slip my calibration wrench into the calibration screw. And that will give us a, a reasonable uh, throttling range right out of the box, okay, if, if I do that. If I don't do it, I don't have a reasonable throttling range, okay? So that's an adjustment keep in mind to do because Robert Shaw does not tell you that in their, or Snyder Electric does not tell you that in their uh, literature, okay? So be careful of that, okay? Throttling range, uh, your thermostats are not calibrated until you have proven your throttling range.